So what happened with me and, and Ski, um, to explain it in an appropriate way and in a way that I can respect, um, it was just, I guess, a, a lack of appreciation on his end, not because of me, I guess just from a business perspective, but he put a business perspective before a personal relationship, and I've been... I'll always love that alien looking nigga name at Sex. But I have to distance myself because it's like nobody would see me as an individual rapper if I don't. On top of that, that nigga crazy as hell. <laughs> Ski went from skinny gang to fat boy gang. It ain't diamonds. That way. Listen. Ain't nobody talking like my lyrics to me, bro. Nobody write my fucking lyrics. Nobody, nobody forces anybody to like the lyrics that I write. So nobody made me. I made my fucking self. Do that. What's up, fams? We gotta talk about this. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button and shout out to my gang. Gang, gang. Let's get it, fams. Now, it's looking like it is all over. And I was one of those people, I was hoping that these two were gonna get back together, they're gonna fix this problem, right? That's what most of the people wanted out there. But I just don't see it happening, man. And lines are crossed, right? Imagine your friend, right? You know, you guys have like this little falling out, you know? Maybe you guys don't agree on something, you know, like, ah, whatever, man. That's my dude, I'm gonna rock with him. But when it gets to a point where he's talking about he's gonna stomp out your mama, or maybe he's saying that you should have been sacrificed, you start looking around like that Mr. Crab meme, like, whoa, it's time to get out of here. Slump God came out and said that was one of the reasons why he can't be friends with someone like that. And that's why I say, man, Mr. Slump ain't going back. It's looking like a breakup, man. And both of these guys is looking like they want nothing to do with each other. Okay. Now, Slump God posted a picture with the caption revenge. Then right after that, XSX hit Sassian. He posted, okay, so I'll be releasing new articles of clothing very soon. Not under revenge, but under bad vibes forever. Be ready. I've been plotting. And the designs are fire. Now, he also posted, I no longer support revenge clothing brand at all. Enough said. Now, for the people who don't know, like I guess if, if you aren't X or Slum God's fans, then the company Revenge is a clothing line that Slum God and X, they both promoted. I mean, listen, both of these guys promoted this goddamn clothing line so much, you would have thought they owned it now i have to ask people i'm like yo who owns revenge now most of the people are telling me out there that some guy named garrett owns it other than that people were telling me that slum god owns it now from what i've seen slum god may have some kind of stake in it but for the most part it is definitely owned by garrett so to explain things a little bit further x is leaving the whole clothing line that they were working on together he's done with revenge and like i said if you know anything about X and Slum God, you always seen these two in the Revenge clothing line. And like I said, again, they wore that stuff so much, you would have thought they both owned it. X is separating himself from the company, and I'm sure it has something to do with the friendship of Slum God being over. And X is going to go do his own thing, and Slum God is going to be doing his thing as well, but he's still going to have that line under the Revenge brand. Anyway, you guys let me know about this in the comment section below, man. I don't see these guys getting back together. I think it's over, man. Now, listen, that sacrifice stuff, man, listen, it ain't no coming back from that, man. Ain't no coming back.